हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड आई होप यू गाइज डूइंग एब्सोटली फाइन प्रीवियसली दिस लाइव हैविंग अ इशू बट नाउ इट्स फिक्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट मी लॉग इन योर क्रेडेंशियल्स एंड वन सडन विद दैट जस्ट मी कम बैक ओवर हियर क्लिक ऑन द चेक बॉक्स एंड देन जस्ट मी क्लिक ऑन एग्री एंड कंटिन्यू नाउ जस्ट मी वेट एंड नाउ हियर जस्ट मी सर्च फॉर द वर्टेक्स ए आई ओपन दिस थिंग न्यू टैब लाइक दिस वे कम बैक ओवर हियर वेट फॉर अ सेकेंड नाउ क्लिक ऑन दिस इनेबल ऑल रिकमेंडेशन ए पी आई एंड देन क्लिक ऑन दिस वर्क बेंच ओवर हियर Then just me click on this user manage notebook, and then click on this open Jupyter Lab. It will take a couple of seconds to launch a Jupyter notebook, so just me wait. Okay, so it's done. Now here you can see generative AI folder. Double click over here. Then here you can see this Gemini folder. Just me click over here. Now here you can see use cases folder. Double click over here. Now just me click on this retail folder over here, like this way. Now here you can see this file, multi model retail recommendation. This one. Just me double click over here, and the file will open. Now if you are using a Jupyter notebook for the first time, so for running a shell or a command, you can see this play button. You can just me click over here, or you can just me hit shift and enter. Like this way, but make sure that before running any particular shell, your kernel status must be ideal. If your kernel status is busy, then you have to just simply wait. Now the first thing that you have to do, just me come back to the lab instructions, click on the task number one, just me scroll down, and from here you can see project ID and location. So just me copy this project ID over here. You can just me copy from here also, or you can just me directly copy over here. Now just me come back over here, scroll down little bit, and from here you can see project ID. So just me replace this. With your project ID, like this way, and make sure that there is no extra space. Now copy the location over here. Copy like this. Come back over here and replace like this way. Okay. Now just me scroll up. Now here you can see getting started. Just me click over here. Now you can just me click on this play button, or you can just me hit shift and enter like this way. And once you do that, you can see the kernel status is busy. So just me wait until it shows as ideal. And it's done. Now just me scroll down. Now what we do? We have to just me restart the kernel. So just me run this shell over here and just me wait. You will get this kind of pop up. Click on this OK over here. Wait for a couple of seconds. And now your kernel status is ideal. Just me scroll down. Now you have to just me run each and every shell at time like this way. Now if you just may come back over here and from here you can see the current status is busy. So just may wait until it shows as ideal. And it's finally done. Now, if you just me scroll up over here and from here you can see we didn't get any kind of error. Now, if you just me come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated for any particular task, no need to worry. Just me wait for a couple of minutes. Lab might take at least five to ten minutes to update the score, so no need to worry about that. Just me wait and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue. Now, just me wait and watch. And as you can see, I got a score. But when I tried this lab previously, I had to wait for at least five minutes, and after that, I get a full score. I, so I recommend you please wait for that much minute, and then you can just me check the score. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and have a good day, guys.